the it's way. Not, it's not that constant. You know, it was pretty wet all afternoon mm -hmm. yesterday, it so was. it's not that type of rain today. It's more passing showers, so it's scattered. It's not that line that's going to come through. But with that said, it's still going to be wet <laughs> at times, and it looks like this lingers into tomorrow too. So it's not going to be continuous, but just plan for it. Make sure you have the umbrella. It does pick up more so in the afternoon versus this morning. As a matter of fact, I think a lot of us will stay pretty dry through the morning hours. The chilly rain tomorrow for opening day, and yes, there is the potential we could get a few mixed showers but more likely to the west than to the east. So thankfully the ballpark is to the east, but we're going to continue to watch it for tomorrow. Temperatures are going to struggle low to mid 40s. That's it for highs tomorrow. Seeing a few showers trying to come down from Lansing up toward Lapeer North Branch area anywhere south and east of there, which is majority is dry. So 44 degrees in Ann Arbor, 45 downtown. We're at 44 degrees in Pontiac. So our temperatures are in the 40s this morning. Again, not bad when we average those 30s for overnight lows. We can still see where all the rain is that passed through yesterday. If we arc this to the north and you can see that circulation around the low, we still have to get that center through. And as it begins its journey a little bit further east, where it's going to wobble ever so slowly, it'll bring in these passing showers, increasing a bit with even the little heat that we have during the day in the afternoon, enough instability for those showers. 42 in Chicago, 32 in Minneapolis. Just want to show you, of course, the change over to snow and the colder air that's backing the system. The reason why we're taking a step back today in temperatures and then even more so tomorrow. So hour by hour forecast, this is noon. We're seeing more showers developing across the area, and then we're going to continue that trend through the evening hours, a little quieter overnight. The sun sets, instability starts to level out just a bit, and things get a little quieter. The center of low pressure comes a little bit closer, and as it spins through, we'll see more of these showers developing tomorrow morning, and then more so again into the afternoon tomorrow. So with those showers around, just make sure you plan for it. If you are attending the game, you're going to want to try to stay dry, so wear the waterproof clothing and wear extra layers. Temperatures will be in the 40s. But again, a wind chill, even with a lighter wind, it'll feel closer to 40 most of the game. Temperatures stay in the 40s on Saturday, low to mid 40s in fact, which means any rain could change over a mix with some wet snow. Sunday does look dry, 52 degrees, and then we're back to 60 on Monday.